Hey Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing my much anticipated silicone doll collection. So I'm just trying to get through all my doll collection videos just because I have sort of like a series going on if you guys haven't noticed. Um, showing off my collection because those are types of videos that I like to watch in the doll community or other people's collection videos because I don't know there's just I just enjoy watching them I enjoy just like learning about um, different dolls and why people like those dolls so that's why I wanted to do these series of collection videos I'll link the other collection videos as well in the description below but um, yeah for those of you who have been following me for a while know that I'm a silicone doll artist but I don't really collect my own work which is kind of funny because initially I one of the reasons why I started to do silicone dolls was because I wanted to um, make dolls for myself because I knew that they were I couldn't really afford them at the time and they're kind of expensive so I was like you know what I like art and things like that and once I learned how to make them I was like I'll just make my own little collection of do collection of dolls that you know I've made but um, it didn't turn out that way. I actually really like to collect other artists work. I don't know why I think the main reason is just because like the dolls that I collect I like know that I mean the dolls that I make sorry I know that I'll be able to like remake or recreate so there's not so much of an urge to make one for me to keep I'd rather you know make them for other people to enjoy and dolls are amazing dolls or if you guys have have one or um, I've gotten one of my dolls I just love the feel of them they're just so squishy and like movable poseable and everything so I just really like that um, medium as far as dolls go so I'm going to switch over to the other camera and show you guys my silicone collection. I'm going to do these in two parts though, so this will be like my minis, um, my mini silicone. So let's go ahead and switch to the front facing camera so you guys can see my mini silicone collection. Alright you guys, so let's get started. Like I said, I'm going to be doing like, this will be like part one of my silicone collection. So I'll be showing you guys my mini silicones and then I'll do like a part two that will show my medium and large silicones. But let's go ahead and talk about these cuties that I have here. So these are the very first silicone dolls that I ever got. Um, I actually began making my own silicone dolls before I even felt a real silicone doll. So I just, when I was learning how to make them and um, following like videos from some of my mentors, um, yeah, I was making dolls, but I never actually felt what a silicone doll um, felt like because I could, just couldn't afford them at the time. But then once I started um, doing selling my clay sculptures um, at first before I got into silicone then I actually was able to buy my own and these were the first two that I ever bought for myself um, they are just precious and these cuties are from silicone darlings um, Elena of silicone darlings um, she is so sweet I love her work and like I said these are the the first ones that I ever got um, they're still in amazing condition I got these like years ago um, she needed the little outfits or I think her and her mom knit the outfits but yeah just super cute when I saw them I was just like super soft too even now like it took me a while to find the right matting powder to get give that you know really soft feel um, but yeah just so much detail like look at that and you guys don't mind my band-aid I still have a um, ripped off nail so I just need to cover that up because you guys don't want to see that nasty but <laughs> but look at the detail she even manicured their little nails pretty eyes just super detailed and I just I just love them I, I don't think I'll ever get rid of them um, in my collection and I'll put all of the artists uh, dolls in the description below like all their information so that you can find the artists and everything um, this is also by Elena silicone darlings um, this is the sleeping version it just amazed me how she even got the little lashes on there and everything and I had to pull the all of these guys out of storage I don't display my um, 
my silicone dolls just because I don't want them to get like overly dusty and dirty or anything because you guys know that silicone dolls can be a little delicate so so yeah so those are my two those are my first ever silicone dolls by silicone darlings and let's put those down and then I also have these little cuties back here these were made by Anna of Cutie Patooties by, by Anna and she is a really good friend and amazing artist of mine. Um, she made these little cuties and I just could not resist them. They were just, just so cute. I mean, look at that little face. It's so precious. But yeah, I got these a while back as well. I bought the blanks from her and I actually painted them myself. But this is when I first started painting dolls. So I add a little bit more detail now than like this. As you see, I just kind of went over the creases and everything. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like an amateur paint job. But I still think they're pretty cute. And I made the little outfits and stuff myself and put the little wings on. I just think they they look so happy and cute. These are the only ones that are displayed in my um, art studio, and that's just because um, I have these little like terrarium domes that kind of keep most of the dust away from them. So, and this is the same sculpt, but this one has armatures in it so that you can pose the doll. I want to get more into armatures. Um, Anna has showed me um, how to do them and everything, so I'll be incorporating that more like later on. But yeah, it just makes posing a little bit easier. So, but yeah, there they are. Just super cute. All right. All right, you guys. So I have this one over here too. I had this one up here for a reason. This is actually the only doll I have in my collection that is a doll that I made. And this is when I first started out. Um, I began making silicone dolls because I saw, I will do a whole nother video of how I got started and everything. But um, basically I was really into and am still into Avatar, the movie. And so I wanted to make a little uh, Navi inspired Avatar baby for myself. So I made one out of clay, clay sculpture, which is the beginning process of making a silicone doll. And then I turned it into this cutie right here. So this is... Um, my one of my first ever silicone dolls and so I decided to keep her in my collection just because she's special she's my favorite color which is pink and then you know my favorite like type of doll which is the Navi inspired one so there she is and um, she has little blonde rooted hair um, I don't root hair but my friend um, Andrea Carpenter um, rooted the hair she did an amazing job because it's you know it's really it's really a talent to be able to root hair and she did it on this little sweetie it's super um, she's super small and mini so I love how she got the little blonde curl there and she also has some in her tail so yeah this is the only um, silicone doll in my collection that is mine or was um, sculpted and uh, poured and painted and everything by me so there she is all right and so let's go ahead and let me show you guys let's see let's go with the silicones that I have the most of or from the artist that I have the most dolls from so first let's do one of my most recent ones so this one I got from silicone lovelies that's a Nissa of silicone lovelies like I said I will put all of the artist information below in the description so you guys if you're interested in any of these little cuties just look there but Anissa actually began um, buying my dolls and then she started her own silicone doll business so I'm really proud of her for that she does um, we have a lot of the same taste so she likes you know a lot of the kinds of dolls that I make and I like the ones that she makes as well so we trade a lot and um, she's really sweet and um, easy to work with and she does customs as well so yeah so this one um, I don't think she sculpted this one but she did paint it 
so this little elf just super sweet and chunky i love chunky babies you guys it's like my favorite so she's just super sweet some of them need to be rematted but um but yeah there she is so there is one from i forget what the doll's sculpt name is but uh, like i said i'll put that in the description below so there she is and then again all of these are going to be from silicone lovelies this is a little sloth that she sculpted and painted up she is just precious like look at her so cute she did a really good job on the little the paintwork i like how she mixed the fur colors okay and then i have these two little mushrooms that she also sculpted i think they're just super cute super sweet you guys i just love cute stuff you know whether it's like dolls teddy bears whatever little animals just little creatures all right and then also this little guy here he was just so funny to me like just like really comical really sweet and cute and I love all the glitter so it's that one that'd be more of like a micro mini right here because he's like super small so like the mushrooms would be like micro minis too and then we have these mandrakes I still need to glue on the I'll probably still epoxy or silicone this little succulent on the head of this little mandrake inspired baby here super sweet again a lot of them still need to be rematted I just took them out of um, like their storage containers because like I said I don't display my silicone dolls just because I don't want them to get um, like just really dusty and everything so it's that one and then we have the larger mandrake inspire baby that she did and I just put like a little leaf on top of his head some leaves this little booty <laughs> but yeah like I said we have a lot of the same taste and everything and like a lot of the same things so we trade a lot of dolls and it's really fun she's great and this is one of her newest ones as well it's a little alien and she made this one I think with um, eco 20 so it's a softer or eco 10 sorry it's a softer silicone so it, he's really squishy and poseable Or she, I think she, oh yeah, she made it like a a girl alien. I forget her name as well, but like I said, I'll put all that in the description below. So yeah, that's that little cutie. And then I think that is all. Yeah, so these are all my, this is my whole collection from Silicone Lovelies. So I'm going to set these aside and show you guys my dolls from Tanya Kasich. So these are actually blank. So Tanya I Kasich found in one of my groups and I have purchased from her. She's an amazing sculptor. Like look at the detail that she did on these dolls. Like it's amazing. She's she's an amazing sculptor. I I enjoy sculpting but I'm really slow at it and I'm not as detailed as um, some other artists are um, but I plan to maybe take some classes in the future and you know improve my skills but because this is just amazing like the detail that she was able to put in these little cuties and they're so small even has a little tongue in there but yeah, I wanted to paint these. I haven't had the time. I've had them for years and I've still I still haven't been able to paint them. So if any of you guys are silicone painters or artists yourself and would be interested in painting these guys, just leave me a comment below. I wanted to do sort of like um an African baby and a like an albino like they're obviously like twins or the same sculpt so they look the same but I wanted to do like one as like an albino baby and the other as like a um 
you know, an African baby that has melanin. So they'll both be like, I guess, siblings or twins. But one of them I wanted to be albino. Um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of display them together in like a little basket or something. But they do have armatures. So they can pose differently and everything. So I just wanted to, yeah, have them painted up really nice and yeah, be able to display those. So they're super cute. And I think that's the Beatrice sculpt um, is the name of the sculpt for that one. And this is one of the newest ones by Tanya. And it is an adorable little like, it looks like a little bug. It's so cute. <laughs> Um, it's um, also like a micro mini baby like look at the detail you guys it's just I love her sculpts just amazing so I should cover the little parts but she's so cute you guys like look at that she's just like a little like she reminds me of a little bug just super sweet so these three are from Tanya and I have, um, I had in the little box that they were in, um, the certificate of authenticity Again, art by Tanya Kasich and it's number nine. Um, yeah, so you can see some of her information there and the sculpt name is Nina. So, and she also made a version with like little elf ears. So I'm probably going to have to get one of those too, but, but yeah, so again, I love Tanya's work. She's an amazing sculptor. So, but they're all blank, so I have to either find time to paint them, um, and I've had all of these for a while now. I just haven't had time to paint them, and I kind of actually want them painted by another artist. So, again, if you know anybody you recommend, let me know. All right, so those are those. And another cute little micro mini that i have is this little sweetie right here um i don't remember the artist who did this i got this little one on ebay and the artist has actually stopped making um these dolls or she start stopped making dolls she doesn't sell anymore on ebay but um yeah i was lucky enough to have grabbed this little cutie from her so yeah they're Little micro mini, super small, little crybaby. The tongue is like really detailed. And you guys don't mind the lint and everything. They all need little baths and be rematted and powdered, but I'll get to that eventually. But right now they're all sort of just, they all just sort of just stay in storage, so. All right, here we have uh, adorable little Elfie doll by She's Michaela. Um, she does Elfie dolls. Um, she's Elfie dolls on Instagram. I also just love her work. Um, I love to collect dolls similar to dolls that I do. So, you know, the elves, the fantasy creatures. I just love that. Um, he has a little made with love necklace. Again, chunky, chunky, cute, and fantasy. Like, that's just me. So, I definitely had to <laughs> grab this little cutie up. I had another one that I gave to my friend Andrea, so we have little matching ones, but yeah, he's just precious. So again, that's an Elfie doll, Elfie dolls. And then I also have, I think we're almost to the end. Yeah, I think we're, these are the last ones. So these I got from um, another artist as well in one of my groups. I think these cuties were sculpted by Cindy Dowling, if I'm not mistaken. But they are blanks as well that I plan to paint. But you guys, I'm so busy like with my making my own dolls and just life in general. So I don't really have time to paint a lot. So I want to send these off to someone else to paint for me as well. They need a little bit of patchwork. I'll work on that um, before I send them out but I do want to find someone to paint these for me oh let me cover the parts but yeah so there's those two are this one is so cute he's like just so happy he's gonna be amazing when he's painted and then this one reminds me sort of like a little Tweety Bird I want to like I don't know do something like maybe a Tweety Bird outfit or something but the look just the face I don't know for some reason reminds me of Tweety Bird so but it's just as cute so I got these two and it was a great deal 
um, that I got them for so I just scooped them up and like I said I just need them to get painted and be be permanent little members of my collection so those are those as well and yeah so we're to the end of my mini silicone collection so I hope you guys enjoyed that again I'll be doing part um, part two here and a little bit so you guys can see my larger dog. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed seeing my mini silicone collection. Like I said, I'll be doing part two that'll show my medium and large silicones. I don't have too many of them, so it should be a pretty quick video. But um, I also forgot to tell you guys, happy fall. It's fall and it's October. So happy October too. It went super fast. October is my favorite uh, month because it's my birthday month and um, Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday so to celebrate um, just the month and I know with COVID and everything you know I'll be missing out on all those costume contests and um, parties costume parties Halloween haunted houses like I love all of that stuff fall festivals so I don't think there'll be a lot of that going on this year and you know it's of course not safe to do that type of stuff anyways. So to celebrate October, my favorite month, and because this is a silicone doll related video, I'll be giving away, and I love giveaways as well, I'll be giving away a mini silicone to one lucky winner. So um, I'll be picking the winner from my YouTube channel, so on this video, and I'll put all the rules in the description below and show you guys what you'll be winning. And it's going to be one of my little dino babes. Um, it was um, sculpted by Alex Craig and then uh, molded and painted and all finished by me. So yeah, it's it was really popular this year, uh, the little dinos. I had a really fun time painting all of them. So yeah, I figured one of you guys would like to have one. Um, you know for yourself I always love mini silicones they're just so cute little pocket size great travel size so yeah I'll put all um, that information below in the description I also put it on my social media so make sure to check my social media out that'll be in the description as well my Instagram Facebook Etsy all that good stuff so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed um, seeing my collection I have a few more collection videos coming up and yeah so i'll finish those off and then um we can talk about you know future plans and things that i have for the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed again and are staying safe and yeah peace love and blessings bye